It seems like anytime I talk about, hey guys, 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 come on now, give the video a like, leave me a comment, support the channel, please, alright? It seems like every time I talk about boxers using PEDs, um, some supposedly men get terribly triggered and, you know, start calling people names and doing things that in real life might get them killed. You know what I mean? So a, a bit of an advice. Obviously, I'm not threatening anyone. I'm just trying to help you uh, go from boys to men. Um, as a man, you need to be able to learn how to think critically and not let your emotions uh, grab hold of you and make you do stupid shit. Okay, because there will come a time, and it's especially more likely these days in every man's life, where uh, his chances of survival of or or you know not getting harmed in some way, coming out of a potentially dangerous situation unscathed. Okay, in every man's time, life there will come a time, especially. That's especially more likely these days where you're going to have to be able to keep a cool head, okay? You're going to be able to, you're going to have to be able to process the information and be able to make decisions based on rational thinking, not your fucking fifis. All right? So that's just a little bit of advice for all of you easily triggered, uh, hormonally imbalanced, so-called men out there. It's not the channel for you, unless you choose to grow the fuck up. So anytime I talk about fighters using PEDs, right, someone just gets triggered and starts crying and then gets into their feelings. Look, man, <laughs> go back and, and listen to um, when I make these um, statements about fighters using PEDs. Do I ever say illegal PEDs or legal PEDs? Rarely do I make the distinction, right? You have to you have to be careful. Careful of what? Sue me. For what? Never do I maybe sometimes when it's proven I do, but when it comes to Marata being given adrenaline in his corner, right? Potentially. I never said he was being given illegal PEDs. Okay? So learn... First of all, welcome to boxing. Glad to have you join us here. Yeah? Give the video a like. And stop crying. Or dislike. I don't give a shit. Uh, and apologize in the comment section for getting into your feelings and acting like a bitch. Right. You know, there is this thing as, you know, PEDs exist. We all know this, obviously, right? And some of them are illegal. Some of them are legal. Some of them go between being legal to being illegal to being legal and then illegal again, right? Some of them are unknown and or maybe not yet illegal now if something isn't illegal then what is it <laughs> right? you could call it a gray area but it's not illegal and if it's not illegal that doesn't mean that it's legalized right but you can't get into trouble in trouble for using it right if they don't know it exists it's undetectable or whatever right it, it's not strictly prohibited Ex it's not explicitly prohibited because they don't know it exists. Or they haven't sanctioned it either way, right? So just because I say fighters use PEDs, I'm not accusing them of doing anything illegal. And it's well known that fighters are allowed to use PEDs as I define them. I'm the one making these statements, okay? You, you don't have to grant me my... my um, presuppositions or the premises on which I build my arguments, right? You don't have me you don't have to grant me those, but don't assume that I grant you yours, dummy. 
Jesus fucking Christ. So anyway, long story short, this is the ABC Boxing Rooms, right? For those of you who just joined us here, welcome to boxing. Stick around. Don't let this trigger you so much that your whole world view gets turned upside down because you just learned that fighters use substances that enhance their performance in the ring on fight night in front of the cameras. Oh my god. Fucking <laughs> joke. <laughs> so they're allowed to use thrombin, which uh, from every, all the research that I've done is just a coagulating agent. Maybe it does something else that we don't know about. Hush, hush. I don't think so. And they're also allowed to use, and this is kind of shady to me. It's spelled avatine here, and everyone uses that term, but it's avi ten. So the first e and the i are flipped, right? That's the name of the drug. Avid, uh, maybe you pronounce it the same. Avatine. Not avetine, avetine, right? Maybe that's how it's pronounced. But it's it's misspelled here and in many other boxing documents. It's misspelled, okay? Now, if this is a legal document, that's a big no-no. Why is that? Maybe it's just a spelling mistake, okay? Maybe. Maybe there's something else to it, right? Who knows? I'm not going to go on and speculate, but use your imagination. And then there's also a solution of adrenaline 1 to 1,000, which is also known as, it's the same thing, in other words, epinephrine, right? It's a medication and a hormone, right? Like testosterone is a hormone, right? Not the same kind of hormone, uh, but it's adrenaline, right? Have you ever had a boost of adrenaline, right? Have you ever been in a situation where a lion was trying to snatch your ass, right? Or maybe a group of thugs chased you around or was approaching you in a dark alley, right? You know what adrenaline is then if if you've been in these situations or competed in sports, period. You know the type of boost you get from adrenaline, right? If you've done more than just sit online and bitch and moan because people say things that make you feel, right? Then you likely know how powerful uh, adrenaline is. That's naturally uh, secreted, created adrenaline, right? Now synthesize that chemical and, and put it in our bodies in who knows what concentration, right? Perhaps a lot stronger than what we're able to produce naturally right mm, what do you think might happen <laughs> so epinephrine is also inhaled right this one to one thousand solution is mostly injected right but you could also inhale it and it has significant effects when inhaled now generally with drugs that are being injected right they have to be careful with the dilution generally if they make it too strong, they could kill you, right? If you inject too much of a certain concentration, you may die. So it's a lot safer to inhale it, right? Keep that in mind. And it, this 1 to 1,000 concentration is safe to give intravenously, in other words, right? Meaning that you could make it a lot more concentrated and have it inhaled and for it to be just as safe or just as dangerous, right? not make it any more dangerous and you know you can read this article and uh, what it does right um, it plays an important role in the uh, fight or flight response by increasing blood flow to muscles right it increases blood flow to muscles what does that mean well it, it means that your muscles can recover uh, they'll probably fire better, right? They'll, they'll work. They'll work a lot better, right? They'll, it'll give you strength. Yeah. It makes your heart. It speeds up your heart rate, right? Meaning, they it could give you better stamina, right? If only temporarily. It makes everything work 
your body work faster, right? Everything. Because you're just getting more blood pumped everywhere. Um, it dilates your pupils, right? So maybe you could see better when it's dark, right? And, well, that's that's what that is, right? It's a natural adaptation we have to maybe dealing with, you know, a bear in the forest at night. <laughs> and it also helps to output blood sugar, right? Fuel for the body. It pumps more fuel through your body, right? And it affects alpha and beta receptors, right? Much like asthma drugs do. All of which, most of which, are illegal. Illegal PEDs, right? It does the same thing. Does it do it to the same effect? I don't know. Have there been studies done on this? Right? And it probably depends on the concentration. The medica It is found in many animals and some one-cell organisms, but the medication is produced synthetically and it's not harvested from animals, right? So they make it synthetically. So it's not exactly the same, right? as the natural one and as it tends to be the case with synthesized drugs that mimic natural compounds they tend to be stronger and more dangerous right also again that depends on um, concentration and the way you administer it right and you could read through this article and it'll tell you in there that it's also used as essentially as asthma inhalers right so anyone who's ever seen, let's say, I mean, we're just going to pick on the United States, but all countries do this, U.S. Uh, Olympic swim team, right? All of them have asthma because right before they jump into that water, they suck on that asthma inhaler, you know what I mean? Like crazy. They have therapeutic use exemptions for PEDs, right? The type of shit that Billy Joe Saunders got popped for, right? More or less. Buterols. Butamols, right? Uh, beta agonist stimulators, or maybe that's not the correct. They affect uh, whatever. They're beta agonist, I believe that's what they're called. That's the class of drugs that they are. Is adrenaline in this concentration a beta agonist? Yeah, sounds like it. So it's, you know, and it has adverse effects and it's dangerous and it could fuck you up. That's why. You know, when I talk about it being administered in the ring, the people administering it have to be careful, right? Because it will have adverse effects. And it could actually, if you use too much of it, it'll fuck you up. If you use it too often, it's what I call, you know, borrowing against the fighter's future. Right? If, if you make your heart pump faster, make it pump more blood, like something's got to give. Your heart can't do this for a long, long time, right? You might have a fucking heart attack. You know what I mean? And then after you make your heart work unnaturally fast, right? After you make your body consume blood sugar at an unnaturally fast rate, there's going to be some kind of a crash. Your body is going to have to recover, right? So it should be well known. It's, I guess, what you will call uh, an open secret in boxing that fighters are allowed to use adrenaline, right? The kind of drug with the kind of effects has the type of effects that are considered PEDs when it comes to the, some of these other drugs under different names, right? But they are allowed to use adrenaline, all of them. And when you buy a vial of this stuff, it, it has the concentration on there, 1-1,000, one, one right? 1 in uh, 1,000. But, do, do you think, like, just, just, let's be honest now. Do you think that boxing commissions, right, they take that adrenaline, right, that you're going to use in the corner, they take a sample of it, seal it, right, and keep tabs on it, keep hold of it, have uh, have it in their possession. They test a little sample for the concentration, and then they give you the vial or whatever, however you have it, uh, on fight night, right? 
Do you think they do this? Have you ever heard of anything like this happening? Right? So, in other words, could it be that you could take out that solution and manipulate it to be a lot stronger? Right? Could it, is that so difficult to fathom? I'm not saying that that's what they're doing. But, I mean, you know, we do know fighters use PEDs, illegal PEDs. This is legal. And if they're not checking the concentration, right? Well, maybe you have... You have someone who could, you know, make it a lot more concentrated for you. And because it's, this is, this solution is safe to inject into your veins, right? Safe fish, I guess. It's not that dangerous. Then it could be a lot stronger than this. And you could inhale it, right? You know what I'm saying? Meaning, you could get potentially, given the concentration of the drug, potentially the same sort of an effect, strength-wise, right? from inhaling a more concentrated solution than injecting this 1-1000 solution, right? You could get as, the same as effect, or comparable, right? Very, very, very strong, in other words. Meaning, they have to be careful with how they administer it, because you could have a fucking heart attack, and they don't want that, right? So, you know... Does it enhance performance? You know, the, the whole PED question, is it a performance-enhancing drug, is A, a political one. It's, it's highly politicized, right? B, it requires experts, right? What does expert mean? What does it mean? It means no, X means no, like excommunicate someone. Without, right, that's what it means. Pert means test, right? So expert has a double meaning, and one of those meanings is you're just guessing. You don't know. You have no experience. You're just giving your opinion without experience, right? So it depends on experts, and, you know, sometimes it just seems arbitrary. Like, why is this legal, and why is that illegal? And how is it that all these illegal things that are supposed to be for sick people are being athletes world-class athletes who are supposed to be top specimen right the healthiest people on the planet you would think definitely when it comes to lung capacity i mean especially with swimmers right <laughs> how is it that all these guys have asthma right mm, or do they you know what i mean like come on let's, let's not be stupid anyway long story short uh, fighters use peds sportsmen